Hey, sweet friends. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Michaela Barnhart. Um, for those of you who are not new here, then welcome back. Today's video is super exciting because we are doing our first plan with me in the new life planner. I am so excited to dive into this new planner and I have high hopes for this full year that's going to be in this book. So, very excited to get started. Um, first things first, though, if you are not already subscribed, then please do so and like this video. Um, if you are subscribed, that means that you will be able to stick around for all of my videos to come in this planner, as well as the exciting first year of teaching that is about to start for me. Um, actually, in July, I will start classroom setup. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you can stick around for all of those fun videos to come. So in today's video, we are going to hop over to the month of July. We are gonna set this page up. Um, if you've been following along with me for a while, then you know that I make my own planner stickers. Um, I have for several, several months now. So that's what we're continuing. Each month looks a little better than the one before. So this one might be my favorite so far. Um, but here's what we have. So we have our July header. Um, I am loving how this, I hated this planner at first. Let me just be honest. Um, oh, I guess I should tell you what planner I have. This is the Erin Condren Life Planner in the hourly version. I did the Just My Just My Type, I think is what, it, what it's called, um, for like the inside or whatever. Um, I did customize it with a flora cover just because I really like the flora. Um, I just thought this would be a little bit more simpler, so I went with this inside. Um, and at first, I really, really hated it. <laughs> I did not like it. I thought it was just not my style. I was like, I'm going to literally just put nothing but stickers in here. We're covering every page with stickers. But after I actually got into this planner and started pre-planning out the month, I really like how simple and clean it looks. I'm really, really into that for this planner at least. Um, in the past, I've gone through phases where I've done that and then I'll go back to really have like doing a lot of stickers. So I guess it just kind of depends on where I'm at in life. But right now I'm really liking how clean it looks. So because of that, the only things that I'm going to be putting down sticker wise for this is going to be this header at the top. Um, we don't have a little box down here anymore like we did in the old planner. So we're not going to have that. Also, please ignore my nails. They're starting to grow out and I cut them so they look a little funny. I need to go get those taken off and redone. But we don't have that little box at the bottom. So I'm not going to be putting anything down here. So this will just go at the top. And then I just made some appointment labels and things of that sake things of that nature. I also obviously did do a July like theme with the red, white, and blue. Um, I thought that this looked cute. It doesn't look super duper like boom in your face July. Um, but I just thought, I thought it was cute. I also switched things up this time. I'm trying to be very purposeful in how I use my planner. I will explain this extra page right here um, in my budget video, or I guess I can explain it in just a second, but I'll definitely go more in depth in my budget video, so make sure you're there for that. I am going to be covering this page as well. Now, this page I am going to cover in a lot of stickers just because I'm trying to make use out of this this year. Um, I started it last year in July and August, and then I fell off the bandwagon. I did not do this anymore. Um, so, I am going to cover this with stickers. So, this is what I've made. I have all these little boxes, and then I also made a habit tracker for down here. So, we're going to set that up together as well. Quickly, I will explain kind of what's going on in the new planner. So, let me get these out of the way. All right, so when you open up, goodness, come on. When you open up the planner, um, I did all of this setup with you guys, but each month you get this notes page and then your tabbed page has a little quote and then you open up to the monthly view. I have decided for the next several months, um, I guess the next six, to do my budgeting and everything in this planner just because I don't want to purchase another monthly planner right now. I would rather wait until uh, January and be able to do a January to December planner and have my budget year all together because I just feel like that makes more sense for financing. I don't know, maybe it makes sense to me and not you, but that's just kind of what I want to do. So because of that, I'm going to use these pages right here. I printed out my own, that's backwards. I printed out my own um, little thing. I'm going to tape it in with double-sided tape and then I'm just going to have my normal budget planner sticker. So I'll have a header. I'll have something down here. We'll fill this in. So that's my plan for those pages. Obviously this will still use for like life and everything going on in my world. Right here I'm going to do my monthly budget and then my weekly check-in page. Follow them out. I might do a savings tracker. Probably not. I'll probably just leave this page blank. 
But how I did this, typically when you order this planner, you just get this page and then this is right beside it. I cut this page out, you can actually see right here. I cut this page out of another planner um, and then just like, you know, popped it back in or whatever. So it's not perfect, but it definitely, you probably wouldn't notice it unless I said something. I just wanted to explain that because you don't always have that page there. I added that in um, myself, like not even as an order or anything, I did that at home. So then we'll use this page and then you go into the week. So anyways, we're not gonna do all the budget stuff right now. We're just gonna do this and the dashboard. So let's get started. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just put down my headers just like I normally do. I am using a different kind of sticker paper. The sticker paper I'm using, I absolutely love. It really picks up the colors super well. It's very heavy duty and durable, but it is not removable. Um, it will come back off, but it tends to tear the page if you don't do it super carefully. So we're gonna try not to have to remove it. It is very thick though, I just I really like it. Um, it has a really good quality. I'm just out of what I typically use. It's on its way from Amazon to me right now. I did not measure this, so let's hope this fits. I kind of just went off my measurements from June or from June or whatever. So we're just gonna kind of see if it works. Whoa, look at that, that works perfectly. Oh my gosh, we like that. Why am I singing? What's wrong with me? Okay, we really like that. I was so nervous. I didn't even think about that until literally I went to stick it down just now. So we're glad that that um, worked out in our favor. If you can't hear, it's like super sticky to my fingers. All right, I really like that. Really like that. Okay, I'll open it back up so you can kind of see both things together but that's so cute. Okay, let's just go ahead and get started. The way I like to do this is start with day one and just work our way through the month. Um, so obviously we don't have anything here. As of right now, our town does put on, we live in a very, very small town. We have, we don't have a traffic light or anything like that. You know, we're just like that straight stretch of road that's called a town kind of thing. They put on a fireworks show, or not, I can't even say the town. It's one person in our town buys a zillion fireworks every year and puts on a show for everybody in the town. Um, and everybody goes. So we'll probably go to that on Sunday if it's doing on Sunday. I'm not sure if they're doing it on Saturday or Sunday, but we'll probably go to that just like we always do. Not going to put that in though because, again, I don't really know what time that's going to be. Um, down here, we are going to go ahead and put in a hair appointment. If this will come off what's happening okay we have a hair appointment at six and that was on Wednesday right wasn't it right here I think it was right here so we're just gonna put this at the bottom and then we will write six o'clock and this is a hair appointment for me awesome all right flip it over we have mom's birthday on the 8th wow these nails just do not work well for me can I get that to lift up there we go oh goodness we have a lot of birthdays this month actually lots and lots of birthdays all right so I'm just gonna put this down here at the bottom and we'll just write that it's her birthday Then I don't think we have anything on the other side, so we'll skip on to the twins party. We have, my sister has identical twin baby girls. They were born last July, obviously, because we're about to have their birthday party. Um, I need to go see what time that's gonna be. It's in, I think it's at 11. Fairly certain it's 11. So certain that I'm gonna write it. So 11 o'clock, we have the twins. day party okay perfect then down here we're just gonna finish this page out we have my grandmother's birthday so we'll put this one on the 23rd So let's 
it's Nana's birthday, and then we have a wedding on the 31st. <laughs> we just have all kinds of things happening. Um, let's see. Let's use this. I don't know exactly what time the wedding is, but I know it probably will be in the evening. Um, and I am sure that it will last for a while. So we'll use this. This is my husband, Jeremiah's brother. So my brother-in-law and soon to be sister-in-law. They are getting married on the 31st. So it's super exciting. Over here, I'm gonna put this one in first. This is the twins' birthday. I'm gonna use this last little cutesy sticker for their birthday on the 20th. They will be one. And they're literally the cutest things in the whole wide world. I mean, I might be partial, but you know, my nieces and nephews are literally the cutest. All right, so how are we gonna make all this fit in here? Twins. Birthday, perfect. All right, the only thing that I'm gonna have to pull, um, this is actually from the weekly, my first weekly kit for the week of July 4th. I'm gonna pull um, probably these maybe let's use this to do vbs because we do have vacation bible school at my church and i am the director of that so we're gonna just put this down through the whole week or at least through thursday we go through thursday evening okay and we'll put one over here on this side and then we can put this back oh wow about to drop it I almost made thin washi for the monthly and I was like, no, I don't think I need it this month. We don't have anything like vacation wise, but I forgot that we would need it for that. Somebody, somebody was trying to call me. All right. So now that we have that down, let's put in a sticker for that and we'll use this one since it matches. Just going to layer it right down here. And we will say VBS, we have kickoff is at, I messed that up, 5 p.m. Oh, well, <laughs> good enough, right? Good enough. All right, the only other things that I'm gonna put in right now are my husband's paydays. One of these payday stickers messed up. I don't know what happened, but the little like line on the P disappeared. Might write that in in a minute. I don't know, we might just leave it. Um, okay, so what? when is his paydays? Let me find where we're at right now. All right, so he got paid, so he'll get paid here. I thought that was right, but I wanted to make sure before I put that in. And then that means he'll also get paid on the 16th. I'm gonna attempt to draw in, should I do this? I probably shouldn't, but we're gonna go for it anyways. Just to make it look like it's supposed to be. Whatever. I feel like there's definitely more that I'm gonna be putting in. I have a meeting tomorrow um, with the lady that I work really closely with at church. So we're, we're really close friends. Uh, we're hanging out tomorrow and doing a little meeting at the church to decide some more dates and stuff for the summer, as well as going into the fall. So I'll definitely have that to put in um, whenever we figure that out. But I think this is it for now for this. So let me go ahead and kind of clean off my little space here. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. And let's turn over and do this dashboard. So I'm kind of excited, kind of nervous for this dashboard because like I said, I haven't always used it. I did it last year, didn't like it. Uh, or not that I didn't like it, I just didn't keep up with it, especially when I started making my own stickers. I was like, no way. 
No way, Jose. That is way too much. I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up, I think. Come off. I was trying not to pull it too hard because I didn't want it to, like, roll up, you know? Okay. This is a big sticker. <laughs> this is a really big sticker. Let's see. How can I do this? I could have made it a little bit bigger for sure, but we're just going to go with it. It's also a little bit crooked, but that's fine too, because like I said, it's probably not going to come back up. So we're just going to roll with it. Hopefully the rest of these fit a little better. Still not a perfect fit, but what can you do? I'm not about to remake all of these. I just know for next month to make them slightly larger. I don't know what I was thinking because usually I do try to make them a little bit larger than the um, box, but I did not do that for this month for whatever reason. What's happening up here? Something is not right. Okay. I do like the way it looks though. I think it's cute. And last but not least, we'll put in our little July header. Just to cover that up. Okay, perfect. Let's toss those. And let's figure out what we're going to put in here. All right. So my plan for this right here, I just did a general label of this month. Um, that way if I wanted to do to-dos or whatever, I could. For July, what I'm going to plan to do here is list out all those birthdays that we have and write like how much we want to spend on those birthdays or whatever our plan is, um, as well as the wedding that we have and how much we're going to give for them. Um, I'm not going to do that right now, but that is my plan for this box in the future. Like I said, if we don't have birthdays, then it'll be like a to-do or just like a list of something for that month. Up here, obviously, we're doing goals, um, which I do have some goals set for myself, so I'll write those in in just a second. We're going to do a quote or a Bible verse right now for here. In the future, I might change what up, you know, whatever I use this for. That's why I didn't put a title or anything so this month we're going to do a bible verse but again that might change and then obviously we're doing habits down here so we're going to skip this for now like i said and we're going to go up here to goals so one of my biggest goals for this month is to finish out a book now before you guys come at me for how silly that sounds or how you know stupid that might be keep in mind that i have not i love reading i do really like reading and i like what reading can do for you like i like how when you find that good book you know, you can be transported somewhere else. I do love reading. But recently, especially in college, I didn't have a lot of time to read and I was forced to read things that I didn't enjoy. So that kind of took away that love for reading a little bit. And I'm really wanting to get it back. So right now I'm actually reading several books um, or not several, but um, I am started reading the Pretty Little Liars Perfectionist book. Um, I also, while we were at the beach, started Where the Crawl Dads Sing, and I love that book. Highly recommend Where the Crawl Dads Sing. That is the one I'm wanting to either finish up this, excuse me, this week, which is the last week of June, or into July. So, either way, though, I want to finish an entire book. So, we're just going to put that. Finish. A. Book. All right. Another one is like a social media type goal, and that is going to be to start posting to Insta again. So I would like to set the goal for myself to post to Insta two times a week.
I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but right now, some weeks I don't post at all. Like most of the time I don't post anything. So if I could do two times a week, we'll start there and work our way up. The last one is a fitness goal. And this might be, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be too much for me to do, but I wanted to lose five pounds. Um, I want to lose more than that for sure, but we're going to start with five pounds in a month. Um, now, I don't know if that's going to be doable for me or what. I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't cl- pay that close attention to weight loss or anything usually, but I am starting my fitness journey over again. I'm trying really hard to get down several, several pounds. Um, so that's what we're doing there. Then let's go ahead and skip down here and write in our habits. So the first habit that I am going to do is going to go along with that, um, these goals. So since I have a goal of finishing a book, I'm going to do just reading so that I read or try to read daily. Um, The second one is going to be in terms of this losing weight, which is going to be to work out. Um, Also reading my Bible daily. I usually do pretty good with this, but here lately, Jeremiah and I have started doing a read the Bible in a year. Um, and we've kind of gotten off kilter a little bit. We've skipped a few days while we were on vacation. And so now we're behind. So we're trying to catch up, but I just want to make that another habit. Um, waking up at eight. So I'm just going to say, wake at eight. And then the last one is to do my morning routine. Um, typically my morning routine works okay for me, but I've gotten recently to where I like to sleep in and then I skip my morning routine and go straight into my day. Um, so how do I want to put that? Let's put morning R and I know what that means. So morning routine. All right. The last thing we're going to fill in together is going to be my little quote Bible verse. This time I did pick a Bible verse. Um, that I thought really applies to what we're doing here, which is planning, um, as well as just to myself. Right now, I'm kind of in this season of life of waiting and trying to be patient and having all these plans for how I want my life to go, but trying to remind myself that, you know, plans don't always work out the way you want them to or happen, you know, the way you want them to. So that's just kind of where I'm at in life. So I felt like this verse was very fitting. And it is... We're going to put many, let me move it. I wrote it down so I wouldn't get anything wrong. Many are the plans in a person's heart. But it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. And that is Proverbs 19, verse 21. So. Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Proverbs 19, 21. So that is kind of my leading verse for the month. Um, Like I said, sometimes it'll be a quote. Sometimes it'll be a verse, just kind of whatever applies to my life in that second or that not second, but in that like moment that I'm planning and for that month. Um, So yeah, that's kind of what we've got so far. I actually really like the way this turned out. I think it's super duper cute. I love this pattern that I chose for July. I will have the pattern linked down below. Um, All of my stickers that you saw here, those as well as all the ones that you'll see for budgeting and for that first week of July all came from the same pack. Um, I think it was just like a couple dollars on Etsy. So I'll link that in the description box for you. I will also always have my planner linked in the description box for anybody who's new and never heard that before. Um, You can check out the description box for all kinds of links. But like I said, this one will be linked. There's also a link if you have never purchased from Erin Condren before, you can get $10 off of your purchase if you use that link and sign up as an EC Insider. Um, Basically, it's like a reward system. You get points that you can use after you get so many. You can turn them in and get like a coupon. 
It's free to do. Um, you just get points every time you purchase. So definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right. Bye guys.